Okay, let's say you're given a set of calipers and you're asked to find the width of a block. How do you go about finding the width of that block using uh, manual uh, calipers? Well, if you're uh, to find the width of the, ma of the block, what you need to do is understand how calipers work first. Calipers measures the distance between these two pieces of the calipers. So how do we go about doing that? In order to do that, we'll have to take a closer look in at the calipers. Okay, so the current distance, let's say, let's say the width between the two pieces, and we'll bring them in just a little bit closer, happens to be, let's say, exactly there, all right? What this is saying then is that the distance between these two pieces of the calipers is exactly one, and we're using the lower scale down here at the bottom because if we're using this in, let's say, a science class, we want to stick with our metric units. And at the bottom, you'll see we have metric units at the bottom here, and we have inches at the top. So we want to stick with the metric units. So what this is saying is the distance between the two pieces of the calipers up here is actually equal to approximately 1.00 centimeters. And the way that we can see that is by looking at this very first notch here, and I'll use a pencil to demonstrate this a little bit clearer. Looking at this very first notch here is approximately matched up with this uh, one right here, okay? Let's say, for instance, the distance was changed and that distance ended up being, let's say, let's say approximately right there. Then the distance between the two pieces here will end up being one because it's uh, this very first line right here is past the one and it's approximately on the point one mark or, or point zero one mark so that makes this one point one zero in terms of our uh, distance between the two pieces. But let's say, for instance, now that mark does not fall exactly on the uh, one of the marks within the window portion here of the calipers, okay? Let's say this first part here does not fall exactly on one of them. Well, here's what we do know. We know that the distance between the two pieces of the calipers is at least 1.1. We do not know what the last digit is there. All right. So typically, when you're measuring um, using uh, calipers, what you want to do is to take all the numbers that you're sure about, which in this case happens to be 1.1, and then estimate the last number. In order to estimate that last number, what we're going to need to do is to look at the lines at the bottom here and see where those lines match up with the numbers or the, the lines within this area here. So if we look at this and we try to see where we have the best match, meaning a straight line going from top to bottom, it appears that this right here is the best match in terms of being a straight line or some may say this. In fact, this one looks a little bit better to me now that I take a look. So what this means then is that the calipers, based off of reading the scale on the calipers, the distance between the two pieces here is equal to 1.1, and we look for where the match uh, best matches, which is approximately here, so that makes that 1.16. How did we get the 0 0.06? If we count this to be 0, then this would be 1, this would be 2, this would be 3, 4, 5, and the lines match up here the best, so that makes this 0 0.06. So again, this is 1.1 and then we look for the match down here, 06, okay? So that's 1.16, 1.16. So given that that's how 
to read the scale on the uh, the calipers. Let's go ahead now and figure out the width of this block. So I'm going to zoom out so that we can get the calipers around the block here. All right, and we'll push on this little knob so that it's nice and flush. These two pieces here are nice and flush against the block. All right, so the block is on the inside, and I'll zoom back in. And if you need to, you can tighten the calipers or lock them in to be more exact using the knob up here on the top of the uh, manual calipers. And I'll zoom back in now so that we can see what the measurement is inside. Let's zoom out just a little bit there. All right, so now we're in focus. Okay, so we look inside of the window here again, and remember we're looking at centimeters. We're not looking at the inches up at the top. We're looking at centimeters down at the bottom. All right, and you'll notice that that first line right there ends up being before the eight. So because it's before the eight, we know that this is seven point something. All right, we know it's seven point something. What is, how, how many uh, decimal places after? We'll end up with two decimal places after. Uh, the question is what are those two uh, numbers or digits that's gonna be in those two decimal places after uh, to represent the, uh, the value of the width of this block here. So we have seven point, the question is seven point what? Well, if we are at this point, if we made it all the way to eight, which we did not, then that'd be 8.00. This would be, if it was up to this point here, it'd be eight, uh, pardon me, 7.9, but it didn't make it to this point. The line here did not make it there. So we know that this is 7.8 something, okay? This is 7.8 something in terms of the width. So again, we look down here to see where we have the best match. Okay, and let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. We may or may not be able to, just so that you can see it a little bit better. Okay, let's stop right there. So it's 7.8 what? Again, we look down here to see where we have the best match in terms of the line. Uh, the lines line up, and it looks like in this case, it's this line right here. Okay, it looks like it's this line. These, when I comp uh, put these two lines together, they seem to make the best straight line, if you will. So we know then that this would be zero again. This is one, two, three, four, five. So that means then that the width of this block is 7.85 centimeters uh, based off of this cal uh, based off of the calipers, approximately 7.85. Uh, centimeters okay approximately 7.85 centimeters all right just as an additional challenge let's say we wanted to find the and i'll zoom back out again the thickness of the block here we wanted to find the thickness of the block so what we'll do is we'll adjust the calipers and i have to unlock it up here adjust the calipers so that again They're flushed around the thickness of the block. We'll go ahead and lock our calipers up here at the top. Pull the block out of there. And we'll zoom in again to see how much distance is between the two pieces, or our, uh, how much distance is between two pieces. And so we'll zoom in again. Let's see, okay. Zoom in a little bit more if we can. All right, and we'll notice again that first line comes before the number two. The first line comes before the number two. So we know then that the thickness is at least one point something, right? One point something. And it looks like this line may be exactly on the point nine spot, okay? So let's see if uh, any of the other lines match up really well. Uh, well, we're not going to pay attention to this one, but we'll pay attention to the, the nine before. And it appears, to me anyway, 
that this right here is where it matches up the best. So this looks like 1.90, okay? And that last digit, we're a little uncertain about it. We're just not quite sure, but we make the best guess that we can based off of um, scientific principles, all right? So the thickness of this block would be 1.90, approximately 1.90. We're certain about the one point nine and then we kind of iffy about that last number all right so that's how you use calipers in order to find let's say the thickness width length or diameter of an item